Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Juan Pasurita from Mexico City, saying hello to everybody, and welcome to day three in Davos Recap. We can't go any longer with a taxation system in which richest companies are paying less taxes. And until you see government stepping up, until I don't think we're going to make much headway. When you have enough data, you don't need to send soldiers. Of course, the future of capitalism, digital tax, and the most scary one, be ready, it's frightening, the danger of data. Crazy day in Davos, check it out. Everybody must be aware that we can't go any longer with a taxation system in which richest companies, those who are making the most important profits, are paying less taxes. So I'm very happy to see that today in Davos, that's one of the key issues. Oh my God, it's getting so cold. But going back to the subject, we have France finance minister thinking about taxing digital economy. What can I say? We cannot escape taxes. It's part of the system. And then in the other hand, we have Germany's chancellor, Angela Merkel, talking about young people like me. Check it out. The impatience of our young people is something that we ought to tap as a potential. We ought to understand this as something where they obviously look at a far different horizon that goes beyond 2050. We have uh, so many young women in power. We have actually a five-party coalition government and each party have a women leader in charge. And four of us are under 35 years old. Until you see government stepping up, until you see politicians taking the mantle and saying we absolutely will not stand for certain behaviors and we actually stand for certain values in terms of, in terms of trying to address these many issues, I don't think we're going to make much headway. Hello there, how you been? So everybody here in Davos is talking about technology, AI, robotics, it's, it's, it's quite a popping topic. Speaking of which, this morning we got a frightening warning by a very famous historian, so you might want to listen to this and prepare for the apocalypse. What will happen to politics in your country in 20 years when somebody in San Francisco or in Beijing knows the entire medical and personal history of every politician, every judge and every journalist in your country? Will it still be an independent country? or will it become a data colony? When you have enough data, you don't need to send soldiers. Why, yeah, yeah, we have come to an end today. Those were the key moments of day three. Please keep checking the forum's website to check out the latest news, and we will be back tomorrow with the last day of Davos 2020. Buenas noches. Guys, I need someone to take me out of here. I cannot move my butt, please help. Thank you very much. I cannot speak. I need support like from the bottom. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, it hurts. It really it hurts. Thank you.